So today is going to be a test out of the Ardell Professional Magnetic, Magnetic Eyeliner and this is what I got. I do have some Ardell eyelashes. They didn't come together. I picked those up before, but yeah. So I'm gonna test this out. So if you guys are interested in that, obviously this video is for you. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel and thanks for joining us. If you are not new to this channel, thank you for rejoining us and staying around. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and then click the notification bell so you're getting the notifications of all the upcoming videos that I post. So let's get into this. This here is an eyeliner, and this is the box that it came in. Kind of looks cool. And then apparently it comes with a, I like a brush too. So this is the brush it comes with. Um, I'm gonna try it out, but I also brought some extra brushes just in case. So this is the packaging, and um, that is how small it is. This is ridiculous. I dislike when companies put all of this cardboard for this teeny weeny little thing. This literally is only 0.11 ounces. You can see here, it's, like, it's so tiny. So on the box it says, no adhesive needed, long lasting, waterproof, paraben free, and latex free. And then it says, two step application. So apply the eyeliner and then apply your magnetic lashes. It says removal to remove magnetic eyeliner. Gently wipe with an oil based makeup to remove and then to wash it off. Okay. So this is what it looks like here. And it's obviously in black. It is this little itty bitty pot. I picked it up at a Sally's and it was, I think I paid like seven or eight dollars for it. I don't think I paid very much for it, which is why I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. So I am notorious for not wearing lashes. I have a lot of them, but I'm notorious for not wearing them unless it's a special occasion or I just want to. And I do absolutely love having massive eye eyelashes, but I don't have eyelash extensions because, well, if you have been around for a little while, you have seen my eyelash extension video that went horribly wrong. Not the video, the lashes, but um, yeah, anyway, enough rambling. So I picked these up. I've had these for a little while. I tested them out myself beforehand, and I am horrible at putting these on. I am telling you right now, I cannot get these to stick together. I was told by an Ardell person, um, somebody that works for Ardell and a rep for Ardell, that is better to actually cut them to get them to stick together, but I wasn't about to test that out because this was like a $15 package and I wasn't about to test that theory. But we are here to test out this eyeliner. So first I'm gonna try their Ardell brush. I'm going to see how well it applies and if you see a mirror, sorry, I needed one. This is this is the palette from Tarte. It is the Love Dust, oops, the Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette that is on my eyes at the moment. Let's test it out on my hand, actually. That's probably a good idea. Let's test it out on my hand first. So I'm just putting my thing in here. Oh, that's probably way too much on my brush. Okay, let's just try those. All right, so I'm just going to draw a line and see if that works. So now that I have it on my hand, I'm gonna do my eyes and then we'll see if it sticks to this before, it before I try to stick it to my eyes. Okay. Um, full disclosure, I'm really not the best at drawing eyeliner around my face, so don't be expecting a wing. Human hearts on so lucky. This brush sucks. I can't let go of the one thing I wanted most. I'm chasing the ghost. Yeah, that brush, not okay. I'm gonna switch over to my Morphe brush. This is the Morphe E337, and I'm gonna try that one instead. It's a bit too thick for applying liner but I'm gonna I want this to be thick so we'll see what it looks like it does not glide on your eyes very well 
trying to make it really like a good thicker line too. It's I'm not trying to do like a skinny mini line. And I totally just messed that up. Look at that, lovely, okay. This brush might not be the best for this either, so let's just switch over to an actual eyeliner brush. This is a teeny weeny eyeliner brush that I got in makeup school. See, I told you I was great at applying, applying eyeliner like this. I'm thinking this might not be the best eyeliner for me to be doing. Maybe if they put it in a pencil form, that'd be nice. But it's very, very thick. Very thick. I'm having a hard time getting it in places. Like, I have to put like a huge line of it. See if I can make it thinner on the other side. This is my funner eye. Yes, my skills are amazing, I know. Many unbearable hours later. So I think that is done. So it is dry on my hand now and I'm going to take these out of here. Just waiting for that to dry. I think it would probably be a bit easier to put on if you didn't already have mascara on. I probably didn't think about that, but I kind of filmed a video before this. So these are the Ardell Magnetic Lashes they're in double demi wispies. I'm going to use the underside one to try to stick it to my hand. I guess I don't really need to use the thing for this. Let's see if it sticks. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, well some of it is sticking, some of it not so much. It could also be because it's curved, and my hand isn't exactly curved. It kind of is doing some stuff like it. So now the test is to see if my, my, um, oh, it's not quite dry yet. I'm gonna use my mermaid tweezers here. I'm going to, ow, budgemicles. I'm going to do this the same way I would actually apply regular wispies and lashes. So there are four magnets on here. I don't know if my camera will pick that up. But that is what it looks like. There are four magnets. Here we go. I'm gonna do this exactly the same way I'd apply other lashes to my face. Okay, here's the dust. Hmm, maybe not using metallic Tweezers to put it on. It's not gonna work very good. Gotta make sure I don't touch it. Okay, let's try. Oh. Okay, don't touch. Oh. It feels a bit weird on my eye. I think it might be too far over. Let's try this again. Oh. That actually was crazy. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna try to pull it over. Ripples fade away. Human hearts on so lucky. Now, let's try this one on. I had to be careful. It's a little bit of a learning curve. You don't want to put this like that, obviously, because I stick to metal. That will make my life really easy if they stay during the day. They, I don't know how well they would stay during the day. Like, I can feel them. They feel heavier than my regular lashes because of the m the magnet. I'm going to double them up, putting the magnets together. So what I did there was I literally just took the two pieces that would actually go together and magnet magnetize them together. And then I'm going to put it on to see if that'll work. Um, I'm not going to use my, oops, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so they're on. This one definitely feels a lot heavier because it's two of them. So I use the top and the bottom that actually go together. So that's what it would look like on anyway. Okay, so I, now that I've been wearing this one on my eye for a little bit, 
it feels good. This one feels too heavy. I don't think I would be able to double them up like this. Um, it is heavy. But let's do a test. So I brought over um, this cute fan my friend bought me when she was in, I think China, if I'm not mistaken, definitely China. Let's see if I fan my face, if they come off. Here's the test. Try to close my eyes so like, they get them or like on the upwind, I don't really. No? Well, they stayed. I don't think they moved. Either one of them moved. So let's see how hard they are to take off. Because I'm worried like if I rub my eye or something happens, then they'll come off. These ones are probably quite, oh, that is weird. They feel like, they, weirdly enough, it feels like I'm actually taking off lashes that are glued to my eyes. Well, I, I mean, I don't glue lashes to my eyes, but yeah, those feel like I'm literally pulling off a lash. It literally just stuck to my eyelash because I got some eyelash, um, I got some of this stuff on my eyelashes. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Are you seeing this? I'm trying to stick it underneath my actual eyelashes. That's, that's a little too much eyelash for a, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm doing it for fun, right? But I'm obviously probably not gonna do this unless I'm going to a Halloween party. But that is crazy. Okay, let's get this closer to my lash line. Like if you're being a doll for Halloween, obviously maybe not like the double wispies, but like, that's cool. I'm bloody impressed with this product. This is definitely getting a thumbs up for me. Other than obviously it didn't work on my hand because my lashes are actually, like these are curved and my hand is not. This might be my new favorite product. This is a little bit freaky. But um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not really gonna go walk around with this. But I mean, for Halloween, you could totally pull some insane look off. Like you literally could get a bunch of these and literally just wear lines on your face and I mean there's a new Halloween costume all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys have a great day bye